Chris Hillman with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, Is Perception Reality? 1 Kings 19.18 says, Yet I have reserved 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. One of the great acts of the prophet Elijah took place at Mount Carmel, where he called down fire upon the altar of Baal and slaughtered 400 prophets of Baal. I've been to Mount Carmel in Israel and stood upon the mountain where this took place. Once the miracle took place, Elijah was forced to flee because Jezebel swore to take his life for what he did. Elijah went into depression after this event. He fled to the desert and sat under a broom tree and asked God to let him die. He was so discouraged because he felt he was the only godly prophet left in the land of Israel. This is often what happens after God does a significant work through us. Satan comes along and wants to steal what God has done and bring the servant of God down. Satan makes us believe a lie about our situation. This was the case for Elijah. Elijah's perception was not reality. He thought he was the last of the prophets. He could not see what God was doing. God informed Elijah that there were actually 7,000 of his representatives in the land who had not bowed down to Baal. Now give some thought to that statement. Elijah thought he was the only one left. God says there are 7,000 left. What a discrepancy in perception and reality. This is often the case for you and I. We look at our situations and conclude based on the circumstances that reality must be this way. But God says, no, you do not see what I see or what I know and what I'm doing. The situation is very different than what you're perceiving. Be careful not to draw conclusions about your situation that may not be based on truth. God always has a plan for his servants that we may not know about. Ask God to give you his perception of the situation, not yours. Oh, I see this so often with men and women who are seeking to do the right thing and they get discouraged, something happens, and they draw conclusions about what they think they see. And yet it's often not what God is doing in the situation. That's why we need feedback from brothers and sisters who are walking with us in the journey in life. And so I want to encourage you, if you're walking through a season that you're questioning God, get some godly counsel and feedback from someone else who can help you see the perspective from God's viewpoint. Father, we thank you that uh, you give us friends who can be faithful to help us see clearly what you're doing in our life and open our eyes to see uh, truthfully what you are doing in Jesus' name. Have a great day.